Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. This is part three of my grand experiment in comparing superwash with non-superwash wool. These two swatches have been going through the washer and dryer and the, and the following little clips will describe the first three washings and the comparison. Okay, here are the two swatches that are going to be going through the washer and dryer multiple times. This is the first time, and you can see there's already quite a difference in the size. This is the non-superwash and the superwash. Let's turn them over because it's easier for me to get accurate measurements from the other side, and then we'll discuss them. So this one is now, let's see, Kind of have to spread it out. It looks like it's six inches wide, so it really hasn't shrunk very much in the width, but it's only five inches tall, so it shrunk uh, an inch in height. Let's take a look at this one. This is the superwash. I'm trying not to stretch it, just roll it out. It looks like it's six inches by, let's measure it from this side. By six inches. So this one hasn't really changed in size. Now I didn't block either one of these before I ran them through the washer and dryer. I just ran them through. And I don't really know if that's why they're curled up so much. I'm going to actually block them and then run them through the washer and dryer and see if that affects them. But you can see that uh, putting them through the washer and dryer is not the same as blocking, obviously. Also, let's to look at some other observations. We can see that the tail on the non-superwash is starting to felt, and on the superwash, the tail is actually starting to come apart because obviously it's not felting together. And we'll see what happens there. Now, you know, with superwash, we don't really know the method there's, that they use to create superwash for this particular wool. There's two primary methods. One is chemically treating the wool so it strips the scales, and the other is chemically treating it, coating the, the fibers so that it covers the scales. The, the method for stripping the scales, the superwash, should never go away. But if the other method was used where the, sc the scales are coated, the superwashing will eventually wear off. And that's what we're testing for here. We're going to continue washing these, washing in the washer and dryer, and see how many times it takes before this swatch starts felting. So we'll, I'll be back with more on this the next time I wash it. I'll bring you up to date on how they look at that time. Okay, here we are back after the second washing. This swatch has changed considerably. The last time we measured this swatch, it was um, six inches wide and five inches tall. So it hadn't shrunk width-wise, but it had shrunk an inch lengthwise. Let's see what it is now. Right now when I measure the width, it's five and three-eighths, so the width has shrunk five-eighths of an inch, and it is four and five-eighths inch long, so it shrunk three-eighths of an inch this uh, in length after the second washing. And also notice that it's pretty flat, and I didn't do anything to this to make it flat. A little bit of a curling edge here. This side's very, very flat. Remember, this started out at 6 inches by 6 inches. Now let's look at the blue swatch. I will say, in feeling it, that it is getting drapier. It does feel a different. Here is the same swatch blocked, not gone through the washing machine. You can see this is, the drapiness has changed. It's much drapier. So the washing has changed that. Let's take a measurement now. This has been through the washer twice. And 
we're going to measure the width. And I get six inches. It has not changed in width. In the length, I get six and a quarter. It has grown in length by one quarter of an inch. Previously, it was six by six. After the last first washing, it was six inches wide, six inches long. After the second washing, it's six inches wide and six and a quarter inches long and a different drape. So today it's going to go through the washer and dryer again and we'll get more follow-up. Stay with me and you'll see the results. Okay, here we are back again and this time is after the third washing. The non-superwash swatch previously was 5.375 by 4.625 inches and now it measures five and a quarter. It was 5.375 so it's shrunk by one-eighth of an inch after the third washing and it is 4.5 and it was previously 4.625, so it shrunk another eighth of an inch. And also we can notice that there is absolutely no curling of the edges. They're almost disappearing. They're still there, but they don't, you, it's hard to say. There's a little shadow there. It's a little bit of a ridge, but there's, there's no curling. And the cast on, the bind, the cast on and bind off edge are also starting to disappear into the fabric. On the superwash swatch, it was previously, let's see what it measures this time. This time it measures six inches exactly by six inches exactly, and it previously was six inches wide by 6.25 inches long. So it's pulled up a little bit. It's still very, very drapey, especially when compared to just a blocked swatch that has not been through the washer. It's, it's uh, becoming more and more uh, limp, almost. So we'll continue putting these two through the washer and dryer. In fact, I'm gonna wash them again today, immediately after this video, and we'll continue to compare them. I'm curious to see how many times it takes before this one starts felting, and I think it will eventually. I have yet to post the uh, standard block swatches after resting. That'll be the next video coming up. And I still have to show you the swatches that were stretched to the max and releasing them from the blocking board and seeing how long it takes them to resume their natural shape. And then we'll also continue with the swatches that were the standard blocked with ripping them out and re-knitting and comparing two different methods for doing that. So we're maybe halfway through this adventure. We still have quite a bit to go. So continue watching. So those were our comparisons up to date. I will continue to wash these and stay tuned for more. Happy knitting!